Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your speaking and welcome to play by email 6, turn 83. And actually we still do not have a profit, so there's not too much choice made in this turn. Now, there is a problem that I know of right now, and this is Byzantine... Uh, Byzantine have their religion. It's called Constantinism. And the beliefs are as follows, you know, production, production, mosques, copper, iron, and salt faith. So he proposes, he proposed me to ask me to me that we don't get our religion and he's going to spread the religion to us and then he's gonna try to pick something good so this is a tremendously good pick on his religion and since tithe is already gone and church property is already gone getting a religion for 100 gold not really that great now the question is what would be more beneficial what could we possibly get from the religion that would yeah but will that yeah that's that's the discussion we need to basically discuss this i don't know if i would want to skip 15 percent more hammers in our capital i don't think so i'm not sure if i like that idea and if we plant the profit like getting a profit will not benefit our faith input we're not gonna get more faith by getting a religion we'll need to spend the faith to get a mosque yeah we, we kind of need to discuss this kind of need to discuss this because a profit is profit is plus six faith instantly as soon as we get it right so there's no loss time on on fate so we're gonna be plus 12 plus 12 and then we're gonna possibly get another prophet before his religion is gonna be planted here so that will put us into um, 12 that's gonna put us into 18 fate most probably and then we've got copper iron salt Right, so copper, iron, salt, which means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven fate. And we're having from silver, we might have from silver one, two, three, four, five, five, right? Five. So in the end we're gonna get more faith uh, we're gonna get more faith by adopting his religion before his religion gonna spread to to our cities with silver we're not like we're gonna lose that pantheon right well we've got exactly six silver i'm sorry six so adopting his religion would be more, one more faith of course we're gonna lose the culture but we're gonna lose it quite quite later in uh, in the game so I don't think there's any good picks that would be beneficial that would be beneficial to 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 us in if we have a religion instead of just planting a prophet hope for another prophet uh, plant another prophet and then we're basically good to go so I would like us to discuss this uh, especially in the YouTube comments when everybody has the time to actually like think this true do the math themselves but in my honest opinion that 15% extra hammers and mosques and he can still pick something good uh, at the at the end there's just like no picks that we could possibly get especially if he's gonna support um, especially if we can support he can support us with the possible war against Persia 
So adopting his religion is a slight gift that is quite beneficial for us, especially with tradition. So most probably in the end we're gonna have a wide empire 15% boost uh, into into hammers. Yes, he'll be able to enhance though. Now the question is what will he enhance into? Because we might we might agree to that and in my chat with Chaiman but I don't want righteous war, right? I don't want righteous war, which means like the extra combat strength near enemy cities that follow this this religion. I don't want that. So if we go for this, I think we need to agree with Mr. Chiman that he will not enhance with that enhance with that enhancer because later on in the game, 20% combat. Uh, strength near all of our cities when we're gonna go to war it might be quite detrimental I'm okay with him having like 20% combat boost like defender of the faith no problem I can agree on that but the other way around I don't I I wouldn't want that especially like I then I wouldn't want it basically then it's probably worth to invest into into our our own religion even though it's going to be crappier than byzantine's religion but we're going to deny some stuff from him so i need to talk about it with him and we can talk on on in comments what we're going to do about that all right let's see the comments on youtube so there we go nick Yoru, since you're already delaying economy, I really think we should try to focus on basic 6 city and C before expanding. Everyone else is doing a 3 or 4 city and C. And as we know from your free for alls, you don't focus on tall enough sometimes. I really think we should spend next 50 turns going to tall as possible, finish and C and get two policies on the right side of honor. I can agree. I'm starting to agree with that, but at the same time, since we have that threat versus pressure at the moment, I'm. I still want to get that army up and running. So the question is, can we potentially get the that seventh city on marble before we gonna get that? I think it's possible. Hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> I think it's possible. So. Oh, bye bye. I think it's possible. So getting that seventh city. It's not going to delay that much. That city could just like grab library when we're going to be ready. So I'm thinking about putting kimono after a granary and maybe another archer into a settler. It's going to be 14. Yeah, it's going to be 14 turns or something like that. And I would kind of like that seven city in here to grab that marble spot already. So this city will be there. This city, okay, I can delay this city. The question is, do you want it on a coast or not? But I think we want the city in here later on the coast as well. Or we might just as well skip this city when the culture border of this city is going to grow in here. Because this city is going to work that, and then we just grab this city with fresh water tiles around this place. Two fish. Uh, and, and this iron. So we're going to miss like the cow and the fish in here. And that's no problem, and it's still on the good side of this peninsula. But I kind of want this seventh city before NC. I kind of want it. All right, let's see the next one. I suggest workers after Granary and Victoria. The faster we get to eight workers, the faster we get our empire strong and our roads up and running. Yeah, we need to get some workers soon. <laughs> like a lot of workers. Culture. After we finish tradition in 10, 11 turns, we really want to get to garrison culture and professional army ASAP. Wait on the next two cities so you can get powerful culture and military policies ahead of others. Yeah, I kind of want to go this way too with military cast and prefer well, wait a second. Military cast is the only thing that's interested to me, right? This can probably wait, though I kind of would like to professional army to, to save up gold into upgrades to crossbows. I don't think we can like save the get there before we're gonna need compost, but who knows? Maybe, maybe we could. We could and we just upgrade when we want to and we farm the stuff. I don't know. For now, it seems like it's a, it's such a long, long time uh, from us 
to to decide that so we will eventually see about that and i'm super tired today so if i'm gonna talk bullshit i'm sorry <laughs> please tell me you finally ridden to persia over the kizil camp please it's been weeks i'd feel better if we gave him some gold and we are sure in is uh, in our camp we're not gonna get any other deal from persia we talked about it and we are supposed to share it we he agreed one time we kill something in the camp one time he kills something in the camp so i don't know what do you want me to specify with him because this is just the way it is and we're targeted army right now which is great okay i love the fact that we're targeted army bloody lovely let's try we boosted the combat strength quite tremendously on our army <laughs> All right, Sidri. Stay at these this cities and just let them grow. Looks like you firstly, firstly play tradition. This game is conquer only, so you must take cities and you must think about extra happiness for it. Yes, now you have in marble, but 100% one of capitals has it, and when you take opening, you will have these looks. Analogically with all other luxuries, it's a real problem in late game. Find new happiness, especially without wonders. Autocracy don't solve all problems because in the late game cities will be bigger and then provided buildings and you always should think about it. Maximize your happiness without extra cities because the only can slow down you now. This is not liberty, you play tradition without jungles and mountains so you have only one way to catch up on your science grow population. Please name next archer Gromgor. Right, next archer goes to Gromgor but overall Sidri I do not agree with all of the statements. now. The rules for this particular play by email are quite different. This is domination only. I don't think that a regular tradition approach is actually the way to go. This is going to be more like slowed down tradition when what you want to do, if you want to work the most important stuff and you still think about this like uh, liberty a little bit. With the benefit when you actually have the happiness, you obviously grow. But the first top priority is maximizing hammers in all of our cities. It's not like we want to maximize science too much. And we not like we want to have po population in a city just to have science when you have a population in other city working hammers. After all, this is domination. So our core needs to be nice and tidy, but it needs to work all the hammers possible in our land. And after that point, when all the cities can work all the hammers, then 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 we can think about like uh then we can think about actually the rest of the stuff like like growing beyond happiness problems and happiness is going to be problems obviously there's no way around it the happiness is going to be a problem but at the same time depending on the situation we don't really need to take all the cities of other players we can keep only the cities that are strategically useful or 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 interesting basically and the capitals we shall see about that how this is going to work out but we still have tons of happiness that we can use and remember our capital is so small the monarchy happiness didn't even really kick in so so well it didn't kick in at all so i think there's still tons of happiness that we can get and then we can see what we're gonna do Digidong, I'm delighted to serve the mighty Shogun as an archer. I will improve my skills further and watch out for any threat that comes near our borders. I will be happy to stay in the city in the future to provide you with happiness. Oh no, it's not modded. And secure the safety of the children and women. Because I'm going on holidays for a while, I take the chance and might improve my swimming and sailing skills to even explore new lands for you in the future. If you're going to learn swimming and you're going to be in water, that means you're going to embark and attack somebody, Digidong. Just remember that. <laughs> Frugal fruit watching this from Indian Himalaya. Keep going. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Indian Himalaya. Nice one. Nice one. Uh, Archik, I thought that Rome was offered something and not vice versa. My mistake. Okay. David, need some more workers. Silverado looks juicy, especially with more improved tiles. Two quarries with stoneworks, two iron with forge, and four pastures with stables. Juicy, juicy. More workers. Yes, we need more workers, but first. And foremost, I need to be satisfied with the army. 
and then we can think about actually getting the infrastructure done. All right, so we've got those two archers here. I think it's time to move. Move those archers. This is actually saving up gold, so Bliznik could potentially stay here. Actually, the other way around, right? Diggy Dong needs to shoot. And this archer needs to shoot while Bliznik is capped on experience, so he's the one going there. And then we're going to just back off, back off the unit to the city. And in here we don't have too much choice, we shoot the camp. Shoot the camp. Scout keeps scouting. This is capital already. Okay, I want to see this map. I know we were supposed to go meet Cottage, but I, I do want to see the map near me as fast as possible, especially this side. I want to see what's in this fog, if we did not miss something very, very important about this side. Alright, next one. Shoot the camp, Nick. Get out of Kizil. If I'm at Kizil, we're not going to lose influence because barbs are attacking this. We're not going to lose influence, okay? Because the barbs are touching this, so right now we're helping Kizil. They, they not gonna, we're not going to do that. We're not going to lose influence because barbs are touching uh, Kizil borders, so no problem about losing influence, if you haven't known that, Nick. And you can check it out, it's 24, it's going to be like 23, it's going to be 23 next turn, unless I'm huge, hugely mistaken. Alright, you know where you're going, to save the trade route up, and that's basically, that's basically it. Yeah, exactly, Sigurosa. Alright, so I guess that's it. We've boosted a little bit in hammers, we're tired, and we finally boosted a little bit in army, we're also tired. So we're getting there very slowly, but we're we're getting there. Alright, I might actually finish the tiles here. Chopping the forest, no. Getting the horses up, no. Alright, so we've got discussion on religion, seventh city. And actually the queues in here right now because we need to get tons of workers more. We've got only three workers. We need at least six more. Well, six maybe if it's over exaggeration, but at least five. Five more workers and we need to get them as fast as possible. Anyways. I'm done for this turn. So thank you much for watching and see you next time. Best wishes. Yours out. Oh man. <laughs> DGC, thank you very much for the support. I've spent many hours of enjoyment on your content. Thank you for that, and it's the least I can do. It's a lot, man. Thank you very much for the support. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Especially in a moment like this. <laughs> when I'm dying of tired of being so tired that I'm basically like falling asleep in front of my PC. Thank you very much man for the support. Really appreciate this. So one more time, thank you very much for watching and see you next time on this turn. So best wishes. Yours out.